Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to NPR's edition of the NASCAR Diecast Reviews. We will use our monotone and soft, buttery voices to make this video today. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and stop with that nonsense and get on to the Chase Elliott 2020 All-Star Light, light, light up edition. That's right, light up. So, we're going to take a look at it. I actually have some uh, batteries because they didn't come with it, just so you know. And, um, yeah, so we'll, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. And, by the way, don't fault Lionel. You cannot ship batteries on UPS or in the mail like that. It is dangerous, so that is why they can't do that. So don't, uh, don't get too uh, bent out of shape. It's not like they wouldn't want to send the batteries it has more to do with the uh safety of shipping them so just want to get that through right now now let's go ahead and start here i'm going to take this sleeve off let's go ahead and see our box here tissue paper and all tissue paper and gone oh that's a good sign so first thing i can already see there's our winner sticker crumpled up against the end so that's not going to be fun uh, let's see, one of 2064 Light Up All-Star wins. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, this is the new style box, um, which I'm not really sure what they thought they were doing as far as improvement because you can see here, small little rip in the corner and a small little rip in this corner. Luckily, I am keeping one of these, so it'll probably be this one just because of the, la the lame box condition. Uh, yeah, it's kind of ripped on both ends there, so that's unfortunate, but um, yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, let's go ahead and actually take a look here. Uh, we did look at the box and the other one, but this is the first time I've seen this uh, design on this box and actually seen it, you know, come to fruition. So there you go, Cup Series race win box. Uh, schedule is on the back here. Uh, the There's our render of the car for the all-star win. I don't even think they had the uh, pin made for this one, unfortunately. And one of 2064, if I can get the right angle. There we go, 2064. Um, but yes, this is the new style box. Uh, we saw it first with the Byron and the sweep set. Um, there we go. So you can kind of see there it pops open from here. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I don't really understand it. I don't think it was that big of an issue before. So kind of a weird change, but heck, I guess it's a change. But yeah, rip on the, each corner. So we'll see how the boxes hold up. It could just be this one. Uh, obviously packing wasn't the number one concern based on the fact that that's my winner sticker. So... Yeah, luckily I don't care too much about them, but still kind of annoying that it was just crumpled into the end. So, um, again, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I'm not, you know, as I said, I'm not the, the biggest, like, gotta have the sticker perfect and everything in my collection. You know, I'm not that kind of guy, but at the same time, it is nice if it's not completely mangled. So, race win stickers there. Um, here is our race win card. Uh, started 13th, 140 laps. Five cautions, 13 laps. He led 60 laps and won by half a second or just under half a second for the All-Star win on July 15th. Get to the back here. Elliot races to All-Star title at Bristol. Elliot's are now the only father-son combination besides. So they're not the only. They, they become the second father-son combo. See, that's poorly written. I'm going to get... Let me, let me explain to you something right now. When you write that bottom paragraph, when it says the Elliot's are now the only father-son combination besides then they're not the only father-son combination. Your sentence is just poorly written. I'm not even an English major, and I think that's ridiculous. The common sense thing would say, the Elliots joined the Earnhardts as the only fathers, as, as you know, the two father-son combinations to have won the All-Star Exhibition Race or whatever. I don't know. But the point is, saying they're the only, and then immediately saying except, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So anyway, I'm just being picky. So I'm going to slide that off to the side, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the car here. So we've already done the review on the uh, on the car here. So today, really all we're going to be getting to today is the lights. So we've done all this. We've seen the chewed up tire. We've seen the corner panel. We've seen the roof. Uh, we've seen, you know, the, all the detail up along here. Is that a chip? Looks like it feels like a chip. It is a chip. Wait, I think it's on top, though. So I think there's a chip on top here. I can't really tell. I'll have to look at some of the other All-Star wins and see. Boy, this car has been nothing but a disappointment so far. 
Yeah, I can't tell. There's a little minty green spot right there. I don't know if that's a chip or what that is. Could be. Could be either way. Anyway, so same detail here. Nothing crazy there. Um, yeah, basically standard ARC. Nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and take the uh, base off here. So we'll do that first so we can get a good look at what's underneath and what we're looking at for the uh, for the light up edition and what you guys need to know and what you don't need to know for that. So there's the ARC car here. I was going to get all of the light up cars, but I didn't have enough people showing interest and I couldn't really afford to just go buy all of them and then sit on them for a while. So I uh, kept doing what I normally do, which is the race wins. Those seem to be kind of the my bread and butters. They're, obviously, that's what I do on my channel a lot, so that obviously helps. But uh, you can see we've got that chewed up tire. Let's go ahead and look underneath here. we got the two lights are here. You can see the switch right here on and off. And then that's where the batteries go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab my screwdriver. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can get into the battery compartment. Okay. There we go. So I popped it up nice and loose. Um, hmm. Interesting. So what I remember reading was that it was three batteries. I don't know why. That looks like they could have potentially expanded this and made it a double A which would have made everybody's lives a lot simpler. But let me show you the batteries I got. So the official size that you need is an LR44. Now, if you don't know anything about batteries, which most of us don't, here's a little tip. Energizer 357 is the same. How do you know? Get way up here. Replaces 303s, A76, AG13, EAPX76, LR1154, LR44, bingo, that's the one, SR44, SW-W. Anyway, the point is, always read these down here. Think about mainly what size is it. And I looked at it, I said, that looks like the right size. Then I read down here, sure enough, that's it. So just want to let you guys know that's something with batteries because otherwise you'll be standing at a battery kiosk in some one of the stores somewhere and you'll just be sitting there forever trying to figure out what in the heck you're looking for, even though it's staring you right in the nose. So um, I have to, I mean, I just find it funny that uh, that that's actually something that, that I've seen happen. So, all right, so we'll go ahead and set that in there. That one in there. And we'll go ahead and get the spring slid down just a smidge. Bingo. Okay, so first things first, I just put it in there. Now I'm already experiencing issues. Why? Well, one, because it didn't go in quite smoothly. Um, it's just an issue. I'm just going to have to kind of get in there with my little pinchy pinch and do a little tweaking. But the reason is basically you need to get it nice and flat. And what I think I got, what I think happened here is I got it lodged in there on, on something. Yeah, I actually think I put them in the wrong order. Let me try something here. There we go. So I got that battery out. I'm going to try this way. There. So now it's a little bit closer. Still seems a little bit wonky, but I can at least work with it. Nope, still not working. So let's go ahead. We'll just pull these batteries out. We'll give it another try. Still nothing. All right. We're going to have to keep trying. So something I have read about is that the batteries will have an issue up here. Said you just got to get up there and kind of push it away um, from the edge. So we're going to do try a little of that. And we'll see if we can get that to work right. Let me take a quick look here. I think there's also something I... My sticker wasn't shredded. I'd, it's not shredded, but it's not in good shape. 
Okay, yeah, there is something in there. I was wondering about that. I thought, boy, that seems like something they would add. So there we go. So does it say what... Do I need to do a certain one first? Looks like I want to do the spring side first. So let me try and see if that helps a little bit. If I do that spring side... seems to help a little bit let's go ahead and throw that last battery in now the middle one still sticks out so that's the issue I'm having is the middle one does not seem to want to stay down in the fixture here now there is a notch in there which could very easily be causing my issue right down there there's a notch so I'm not sure what that notch is for but it's definitely causing me a headache tell you that much but maybe this will uh, make you guys not feel so silly if you're in the same boat as me because it's taking me a lot longer to put this battery in than I would like to admit and I really don't like to admit it so let's see here let's go ahead and try it at the regular oops there we go Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing wrong here. Okay. So it looks like there's a short up here. It's right in that spot. So just so you know, basics of electric... Oh, now it stayed. There we go. So now it glows. Let's see what happens when I get this back on. Because I got a feeling, and I've heard rumors, that this may not work. Which is fine. That's why we do the video, right? So we can find out if when I tighten this up, rattle around, off and on, no. Okay, so it looks like I am going to be one of those who has the issue. So a few people I've seen post on different places that they're having issues with the lights. I am going to be one of them. Let's go ahead and troubleshoot it while we're here. All right, so the issue we're having, the way you can tell, touch the batteries together. Got a connection, we got a connection, we don't have a connection. So the issue is on the end here. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to pop these out. There we go. And i got to look down in here and figure out how I can get this to be a little more expanded. Kind of get it a little closer, if you know what I mean. I need it to be, you know, kind of, let's see here. I'm not sure how else I could do that. I could take the car apart. I don't really want to, um, just to get up inside the trunk. Um... Not exactly, again, not an ideal situation that I would want to do. Um, but I may not have a lot of options here either. Because it does not appear that the uh, battery makes contact there. Yeah. Yeah. So if it's at the right angle, it will, but it's not its not consistent enough that I like it. First of all, there you go. That's what it looks like. Um, what would I say about it? Uh, the glow is okay. It's not super powerful or anything. Um, it's probably pretty close to what they had for the on-track product. So not bad. Um, is it worth the extra money? You have to decide. I frankly think it's going to be a problem because I think these batteries aren't going to last quite as long as we would hope, um, considering... You know, if you're going to turn the thing on, it's probably going to be on a majority of the time while it's in your case. Um, so that's just up to you. I, I decided I was going to keep one of the light-ups. Um, so I'll have at least, I mean, this one just because of the box condition in this and whatnot. But um, that's kind of the call you have to make. I said, I, I don't mind it. I don't think it looks terrible. You can see the, you know, the orange light coming off the back there I, I think it looks okay but i definitely um you know I, I don't see it as revolutionary or anything crazy like that so it's it's not bad um but is it worth the extra amount that's kind of something you got to figure out for yourself um but yeah as far as what i got to do here um i think i just need to find a way to get these batteries to uh to touch the other side a little easier um not really sure what i'm gonna have to do to make that happen 
So I will try to get a solution for you guys, and I'll post it in the comments. But that's what you're looking at for a setup. Um, like I said, I think they would have been better with a AA battery instead of these three little batteries. But that's just my opinion. Or even find a AAA. Just but you know, put the light, put the battery right up in here. Put the uh, lights over here. So again, not uh, not ideal, but. I will, um, I'll do some looking around to kind of see what solution I come up with and I'll post it on, uh, probably, I probably won't make a whole video, probably just Facebook or Instagram or something, uh, just showing you what I did to solve this battery issue, but I do know that I've had it and I've seen a couple others, so let me work, I'm going to find a solution, I'll keep you guys posted on those platforms, but otherwise let me know your thoughts on the light up all-star cards, let me know which ones you got, I just got the, um, the all-star one, I have one for this website, so there at least be one available, but um, unfortunately there weren't a ton of these left. So uh, again, let me know what your thoughts are, which ones you like. If you are interested in this one, check it out. It'll be on the uh, RAS Diecast site. But uh, other than that, this has been Race Craze. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next Diecast review.